Great. So it actually looks like you qualify for our offer today. Um, just please hang on for one second while I connect us with the medical alert specialist. Please hold for the next available representative. Hi, this is Jessica. Uh, I have a qualified candidate on the line that I need you to help. Um, I'll let you take the call from here. Thank you so much. Yes, hi. Thank you for holding. My name is Saint Show for the Medical Lead Center. With our promotion today, you have been selected to receive your free medical aid system. Okay, so yeah. congratulations. Okay, thanks. I need that. No, I'm yeah. Not... yeah, okay. Hi. No, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the medical aid system. What is that little button you wear around your neck? Button, That yeah. you would press for help in... All right. Are you familiar with the medical aid system, sir, right? The what? I didn't hear you. Um, are you familiar with the medical aid system? Have you seen similar products advertised on TV, right? Yeah, that old lady always falls down the stairs. I see that. All right. Um, again, sir, my name is Angel. Angel. And so we can get to know you a little better. We have the correct spelling of your first and last name. First name is Clint, C-L-I-N-T. Last name's Torres, T-O-R-R-E-S. All right. Thank you so much, Glenn. Now, yeah. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions okay. before getting you over it to one of your specialists. Okay. Glenn, who is yeah. your primary health insurance provider? Are you with Medicare, Medicaid, Medicare. or other health Medicare, Medicare. Right. Medicare. Yes, I'm old. <laughs> Thank you so much. You know, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how many medications are you taking currently? Eight or nine, I don't know, a whole bunch. All right, noted, Glenn. Now I'm going to introduce you to a medical aid center specialist. Okay. It will provide you with more information and get you set up to receive your free medical aid unit. Okay. So you may hear some hold music or some hold. beats. But just bear with me, Glenn. Bear. I'll introduce you to the Asian. Oh, okay, Angel. Trust me, you're in great hands. Okay, Angel. All right, let me transfer you now, Glenn. Angel. Please stay on the line. Okay. Please hold. Thank you for holding. My name is Nicole with Life Protect 24-7. Hi, Nicole. I have Glenn on the line. We'll briefly discuss the benefits of mobile monitoring unit. Could you please go over the promotional data and take special care of Glenn? Mm. Yes, absolutely. Great. Okay. Again, my name is Nicole. Nicole. And okay. I'm with Life Protect. Yes. And I'm with Life Protect 24/7. Okay. And I am going to be taking care of you today. Oh, good. So first, congratulations Thank on you. being selected for your free medical yeah, alert I, system. I need You're it. For, I need it for free. Absolutely. Okay. Now, our devices. They are great for those that have heart issues, that are worried about security concerns, or even just the common slip and fall. Okay. Now, by chance, are there any health issues that you are concerned with? I, I fell Anything down this like last week and tore my perineum. Oh, oh no. Are week. you okay? Well, it kind of hurts, my perineum. But they said it would heal itself some way. I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's why I think when I need it, this. What, what caused your fall? Ah, oh, gee, I was drinking, and I fell down. Uh, uh, you should, better stay uh, away from that alcohol. I probably shouldn't drink so much. No, absolutely. How much did you have to drink? Oh, gee, a 12-pack of beer and a pint of vodka. But I probably shouldn't have drank yeah. that much that day because I fell down and tore my perineum. Yeah, and you know, um, that can also affect your liver and liver, wow. all your organs. Well, everything else is 74 years old, so if there's any damage, it's already been done. So <laughs> there's really, I don't know what to do. Do you have um, high blood pressure, diabetes, yeah. COPD? Yeah, I got all that. You got all of that? Yeah. <laughs> Are you type 1 or type 2 diabetic? Type 2. Type 2. Type 2, and you got high blood pressure too? Yep, I take stuff for that. So that's oh, pretty wow. good. The blood pressure is doing pretty good. As long as I take, mm -hmm. like when I drink, I always take an extra blood pressure pill. 
and an extra shot of insulin mm -hmm. to cover my drinking. So I do pretty good with that. I got that figured out pretty good. Mm-hmm. Of course, the doctor Yeah, said but either way, drink. you know. The doctor said I shouldn't drink, but what? I told him I had it figured out pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, with the um, high blood pressure and the diabetes mixed together, that is what we call a toxic mixture. And we call it that because your chances of having a heart attack, a stroke, or just becoming lightheaded and falling are actually doubled. Okay? That could have contributed so to, to my careful. falling down. Maybe it wasn't because Absolutely. I was drinking. Maybe I just fell down. I don't down. know. Was you stumbling? Stumbling, yeah. Well, I think that came from the drinking, honey. Okay. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have friends drinking with you, or was you drinking by yourself? Uh, I drink alone. You drink alone? Well, that's no fun. Me and Jack Daniels. Yeah, y'all have a talk. Do y'all? Do you and Jack Daniels sit around and talk about Jim Beam? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we have a good conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's too good if Jack Daniels is pushing you to the ground. Well, yeah, he's like that. He gets like that sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he gets a little aggressive. Yeah, huh? that Jack. <laughs> How long you been drinking for? Mm. Yeah, I'm 74 now. I started when I was 14. 60 years. Ooh. 60 years. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's a that's a long time. I'm doing pretty good at it. I'm I'm a pro. Yeah. Yeah. Well you're not too much of a pro if you're falling down and getting injured. Well that's the first time I fell in a long time. I think I think the alcohol got one up on you. One up on me at that time. But I'll win the next time. Yeah. Oh yeah. So that's so, huh? So tell me about this thing I'm gonna get for free. Okay, I'm going to go over all of that with you. Okay. Now, um, what is your name, honey? Uh, Clint, C-L-I-N-T, last name Torres, T-O-R-R-E-S. Okay. And who is your health insurance through, Clint? Medicare. How many medications do you take on a daily oh, basis? Oh, Jesus, six or seven of them. I don't know. A little lot. Okay. And just in case we get disconnected, I do just want to verify that your phone number is, is that yes. correct? Okay. All right. Now, um, about the device, so it definitely sounds like everything that you have told me that our mobile monitoring device will be perfect for you, okay? Yes. Now, with this device, it will work anywhere in the U.S. that has cell service. So you can use it on trips, you can use it around town, you can use it outside, of course in your home. Right. Now it is also water resistant, so you can even wear it in the shower, which is oh. where the most dangerous falls do tend to happen. They do. The device, yep, and it does come with a charging cradle. Okay. So we do recommend um, putting that on the charger each night before you go to bed. Well, this way you would always have a full charge. What if I and need it, it while I was sleeping? When... What happens then? It is still work. You can just you just take it off the charger and hit that button. Hit that button, okay. But listen, this you know, this is what I was gonna tell you. Um you know with the device you only have to charge it once a month. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's it once it's fully charged, it'll remain charged for up to thirty oh, days. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Now, whenever you need help, all you would do is press the button, and you're going to be connected to one of our monitoring specialists to make sure that you are okay. Well, what if I fall down so and I pass it and I hit my head and get knocked out? Well, when you fall down, you're going to press the button. When you're unresponsive, we're going to send somebody to you anyways. How do you know if I don't press the button? Well, it doesn't have fall detection. Oh, it doesn't? Companies no longer offer that. Oh. No, so companies See, I, companies don't oh. offer fall detection anymore oh, see, I need that. because the feature does create. Well, you're not going to get that from any company anymore, honey. No, I guess I and the, the, the reason why is because 
the feature creates false prices that can create an unwanted situation. Now, it is extremely rare that a situation is going to occur where you don't have time to press your button. Now, on the other hand, if you was to just simply move too fast, that would trigger the fall detection to initiate an unwanted button press. Uh, okay. okay. That's the reason that people don't, because ambulances are get, was getting sent to people's houses and the people didn't even need them. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. okay. So um, whenever you need help, you just press that button. You're going to be connected to one of our monitoring specialists, and they're going to make sure that you are okay. So if I fall so you down, can press I press your button. If, I, if I'm going to fall down, I should push the button before I hit the floor and knock myself out. If, if well, I push the a lot of the time, people don't hit the floor and knock themselves out. Ninety-nine point nine percent of the time. Um, when someone hits the floor, they didn't knock themselves out. They just hurt themselves and uh, they can't okay. get up. Okay. That's 99.9% 99. .9 of the time. It's very okay. rare. It's very, very rare that somebody hits that floor and they knock themselves okay. out. Okay. Now, um, you are in complete control. Okay. So when you press the button, you get to control who we send to you. So we can send a relative or a neighbor over to check on you if it's nothing serious, or we can send the ambulance or the well, fire I, truck if that's what you need. I really have the ambulance, really. Uh, well, I it's whoever down, you I want. I want the ambulance. But what if you're not hurt and you just well, what if I'm not hurt? Down, I won't not push hurt, the button. You just can't get if up. I'm not hurt, I won't push the button, right? Well, you go press the button if you can't get up. Oh. I can usually get up. Yeah, key word in that is usually. Yeah. You might have that one time. The one time I tore my perineum, I couldn't get up, believe me. Exactly, but that's when you needed the ambulance, I right? I did need the ambulance. Yeah, did you call them? Yes, I was able to get to the phone very cautiously and get them. Tell them I fell down and Absolutely. tore my perineum, and they sent the ambulance, and they took me to the hospital, and the doctor said, this don't look good, but there's nothing we can do for it. Perineums are hard to cure. Mm -hmm. you gotta, it's just got to heal itself. I go, boy, oh, boy. But, okay, it's it's clearing <laughs> up now. It feels better. Well, that's good. Yeah. Now, um, Clint, yeah. I do want you to um keep in mind with this device, that it does not have to be just used for a medical emergency. Now, you could press this button for any emergency that you have, whether there's a car accident, a fire, somebody tries to break into your home, or even if somebody tries to hurt somebody you. Somebody's trying to hurt me. You could press this button and get help. Better than that. Not. Yeah, they might. Better than that. They might. Being for a big surprise. You never know in the world. Mm -hmm. they, you never know in the world that we live in I today. Know. You never know what can happen. Now, Clint, I am sure that you have seen these devices advertised before for hundreds of dollars. But remember, you were selected for the promotion, so the device itself is completely free. Okay. Right? Free. There are no taxes, okay. no shipping, or activation fees. Okay. <laughs> just a minute. Now, just a minute. Yeah, Lassie, Lassie, calm down. Lassie. Unless he thinks there's somebody at the door. Okay, go ahead. Now, you would just take care of the small monthly monitoring service, which has been discounted with the promotion to only forty nine ninety nine oh, per month. I thought it was that is free. less than $8.60. Oh, dear. The device is free, Clint. Oh. You are getting the device for free. The device usually goes for hundreds, hundreds. of dollars. Oh. But I can't even afford fifty. And we are giving that to you for $50 free. Fifty dollars a month. If you can afford, if you can afford a case of beer, and you can, I afford, can afford that. A bottle of liquor. I can liquor, afford that. Then you can afford. But I'd have to cut back. To I'd have to yourself. cut back on the liquor and the beer in order to afford this thing. That's fine. That's what you need to do anyway. No, I can't. Uh, Your doctor told you that. Yeah, but I, I think he was kidding. I don't think he was kidding too much yeah. there, Clint. I don't think the doctor was kidding well, about something yeah, he's like that. Joking. Well, I guess 
Now we will mail the device. I guess I can't get it for fifty dollars a month, but I thank you for your time there, uh, Nicole. And uh, well, Clint, and you know I completely understand. I'm on a tight budget myself. Yeah, because all I get is social security. And most of our customers only get social security or disability. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, that's why we have the promotion going on. Yeah. That way people can protect themselves for any type of issue that may happen. And if you're out here getting drunk to where you're falling down and you're hurting your perikineum and you're injuring yourself and you have to go to the hospital, what would you have done if you wouldn't have been able to get to your phone to make that phone call to go to the hospital? I, then I what? don't know. I would have been in trouble. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. But... And that is the issue. People don't think about their health. They don't think about their security or their safety. And that's where the problem lays. You have no idea what can happen today. You have no idea what can happen tomorrow. No. And that is why this promotion is going on. So people that are on Social Security or on disability can get themselves protected and don't have to worry about that. You're out here. If you can afford buying this beer and buying this liquor all the time, you can afford to protect yourself for any type of future issue that but may happen. I would have to cut back on the other and then because I can't afford both. So would you would you rather would would you rather get drunk or would you rather live? I, uh, well kind of a toss up really. If you're not alive you can't get drunk to enjoy the alcohol anymore. Yeah, but so if I buy this thing I can't buy the alcohol sense. either. So either way, I'm done. You can still buy it, just not as much. Uh, I'd have to go to the cheap just not I'd, as much. I'd have you to get be, the cheap you would the cheap be bush beer or something like that that they use to catch potlickers. It it'd do the same thing. No, I don't you. like I don't like That's that. That's okay, it'll do the same thing it for you. It's good stuff. It'd do the It'd be it'd do the same thing. But it takes for you. more of it. That would cost me more money because that light beer, you know, that you gotta drink a lot of that. They they have they they have regular bush. You don't oh, have regular to get the bush? bush light. Hmm. I like, yeah, they don't I have to get I the might bush get light. the light bush. I don't know if I tried it. Hmm. If you're trying to get drunk, you don't want the light bush, you want regular the regular bush. bush. The regular Reg bush I'd will do like it for regular you. Regular bush probably. But I and then all you got to do is shotgun your first three, and then you're fine after that. Every every other one, you're going to fill it more and more and more and more. Uh -huh. And you're going to get drunk. Then when I fall down, I But at this point in time, and then you're going to get help. Within six seconds. Six seconds. Within six seconds, Clint. Six, six seconds. seconds. Six That's seconds. A short yep. period of time. Yeah. Okay. And if you're on that floor and you can't even get to your phone, you press that button, and That's guess right. what? You don't have to worry about whether you're getting help or not because your help is coming. Yeah. The ambulance is coming. Uh, the amb uh. And they're going to get you taken care of. Without this promotion, it will cost you hundreds of dollars to get yourself protected. Well, I wouldn't even, definitely wouldn't get it. The promotion is where you are making the investment into your health for any future issues that may occur. And this is the time to get yourself protected. Face it, Clint, you know just as well as I know, you're 74, honey. You're not getting no, any younger. And as we age, as we age, our bodies and our bones start to deteriorate more, and everything becomes weaker. You can have a fall and break your hip. You can have a fall and break Ooh. your back. I don't want that. You don't know what the can happen. was bad enough. I don't want to break anything else. And if that was to happen, don't you want to be sure that you have that help right there with you to make sure that they can get you to the hospital, they can get you to safety, and that you can live another day to drink your beer? Yeah, well, I just can't afford $50 a month, Nicole, but I thank you for your time and advice. And I understand. And I do understand why you do feel that way, Clint. And with inflation yeah. and the cost of good going up, people people are spending more than what they are used to spending. And I know with me, when my budget gets tight, it does seem like everything else is going wrong it at the same time. It seems that way to me, too. But with, 
but with that being said, Clint, you did just have a fall and you was injured on it, yeah. okay? And I don't want to see you in a situation where you do need the help and you are unable to get that well, help. Well, I, I don't know. I just can't afford it. But, uh, like, again, I say Clint, I, I, get, I get that this is a tough yeah, decision, okay? I understand that this is a tough yeah, decision. I can't afford it. But you cannot wait until... You cannot wait until you have a problem, okay? Did you know that 50% of the people that are in nursing homes are not there by choice? They had one accident that changed their yeah, life Yeah, I don't forever. want that person. And do you know They don't let they you do? drink in a nursing home. Do you home. know what they do in they a nursing home? They don't let you drink. I know that. And you're stuck in bed all day. They give you a button, and they say, if you need anything, just press this Another button. button. So why go through all right. of that? So why go through all of that and still end up with a button when you might as well save yourself yeah, all your of that, button. stay in your home, own home, and, and just get the button, button now? So, well, I thank you for your time anyway, Nicole. I this can't is, afford this, so I got to go. Okay, right. well, I, I understand, Clint, and um, it's definitely going to be a pleasure speaking me with too. you, but before you go... Yeah. I would like to get you over to my division that can help you save money on your health insurance. Do you have a few minutes to see what they can do no, for you? No, I know my, my friend's picking me up. We're going to the thing. Okay. 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 Well, thank you. Well, just for calling in today, you have the opportunity to hear a special offer. So please stay on the line while I transfer the call. I, 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 if you have a red, white, and blue Medicare card and would like to save money, lower your doctor co-pays, or receive additional benefits, please press 1 now.